I'm Mike Brandvold. I'm Tina Brandvold of Atomic Foods Boutique. I'm Cindy Serpanani. And I'm Kaylee Hirschfield. And we're here from the Indian Youth Club of Spokane. Hi, my name is Martin Noor. I'm a multimedia artist from Spokane Valley. I am Jeremy Whittington. I'm the Artistic Director at Stage Left Theater. Hi, my name is KJ. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the Director of Advocacy at Spectrum Center Spokane. Hi, I'm Erin. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the Social Media Manager at Spectrum Center. Hello, my name is Rio Alberto, and I'm the Artistic Director of Spokane Ensemble Theater. My Turn Theater is made up of actors who have disabilities, and the theater's executive director says seeing them on stage means seeing what they're capable of. Inclusion is about providing a safe space for all, from all different um, genders, orientations, walks of life. Differences are what make a community. If you have a super homogenous community, it's gonna be not as interesting, not as fun. Relationship building and humility. It's about giving equitable access to opportunities and getting rid of discrimination, intolerance, and biases, which create barriers for so many in our community. I think inclusion is accepting, celebrating, and embracing um, everyone's differences while embracing your differences too. When I took over Stage Left Theater back at the beginning of 2020, I set out trying to build these uh, relationships in the community with other artists, business members, um, social leaders, uh, justice warriors, to invite them to come and be a part of what building the theater arts in our community looks like. Whose voices are we putting on this stage? Who are the playwrights? Who are the directors? And who are the artists? We have to interrogate our practices. We have to interrogate the purpose of our storytelling and ask ourselves, why are we doing this? And if that answer um, comes down to a serving a single individual or a single lived experience, then we need to pause right there. And we have paused in the past and redirected ourselves to ensure that at every point of our operations, we are moving with a lens of inclusion through justice. I think in our Spokane community we see a lot of queer folks don't have the platform to have their voices heard. They're ignored or shut out of traditional spaces and so at Spectrum we really want to use our arts programming to shine a light on queer excellence on stages, in programs, in projects like our yearbook that we put out so that folks can see all of the just queer excellence and joy and perspectives that exist here in Spokane. Our queerness doesn't erase or overlap our identities. It just adds to the rich tapestry that makes us who we are and what we can add to any presence, any room, any art piece, any discussion, any introspection that people have. We want to be able to provide spaces for people that we didn't have when we grew up. Yeah. Like that. We started in our a house of our bedroom and then went to car shows and street fairs. But when we got our first storefront, that opened it up to from like size inclusivity and then also because we are within the queer, queer community, then it was like the LGBTQIA started being more of like a presence in our space. Mm -hmm. And um, then we moved into our bigger space now where we're at and it provided us now we have all of the apps. So now we have art inclusion, all different types of artists. So I'm a multimedia artist, so that's drawing on a lot of different disciplines uh, right off the bat. I work with collage, I work with paints, I work with all sorts of different like stickers and I like to include things that aren't necessarily considered like fine art or high art. I want it to make people question why it's not, it might not be considered fine art and I want my work to be thought provoking in that way. We share Indian culture through art, dance, storytelling and Indian food. We perform at different events in the community. We have different people all over the community coming. We have like ages five through like 80 years old that come in and do it. And um, we like to make sure everyone feels included. The best art comes from asking, what stories do you want to tell? Um, and how can we, you know, give you the space and provide that opportunity for you to tell your stories. Carol first created the theater group out of the shadows in Coeur d'Alene, inspired by her son who has special needs and wanted to be an actor. Four years later, My Turn Theater in Spokane hires people with special needs who want to perform as well. Their parents, their caregivers come to us later and they say, 
I didn't know he could do that. I didn't know she could sing. I didn't know that he would be able to, to tolerate this environment, but they do. Time and again, we have all kinds of miracles. The impact of inclusion on stages here in Spokane is affirming the life of people who otherwise may be told by folks that there aren't enough of us to even matter. It's part of justice. It's simply unjust to go around making young artists feel alone in this town, you know? Inclusivity is radical. Inclusion is actively fighting for an equitable space. Inclusion is giving a platform to historically excluded voices. I think inclusion is making sure everyone feels that they're loved and accepted no matter what. I think inclusion is accepting every single human from every circle. Inclusion is the act of acceptance without judgment. Inclusion is thinking outside the box so you can all get together and tear the boxes apart and put them in the recycling bin. Inclusion is vital to the health of a community.